Have you ever had any crazy, crazy party experiences? That is an awesome story. I think it's the best one I've heard all day. I know you got another funny story from me, so let's hear it. What was she doing? Well, I think our friend here learned a lesson that we hope he will keep with him. So is that kind of embarrassing for you guys? I got some freshmen here, and they're going to tell me about their first college party experience. I hope you've been thoroughly embarrassed. Watch out for those red and blue lights. Hello, Mason, and welcome to this third edition of Campus Confessionals. I'm Antonia, and I'm here once again in the JC to get your wild and crazy stories. Are you ready, George? Okay, tell me about that night. Oh, man. That night, should I take the mic? That night was um, approximately one year ago, and um, I was having a little get-together in my apartment. Tell me about the time that your room got fire extinguished. Well, it was four in the morning <laughs> on a very nice evening, <laughs> and uh, I was sleeping soundly when I hear this sound. Just... I was walking down the street in Georgetown a couple months ago, and a group of guys and girls walked by me, and one of the girls says, I sit on your face for free. Well, there was a little bit of a love triangle going on. Uh, a couple who was a close friends of ours had broken up, and the boy had started dating another friend of ours, a friend of his girlfriend's. I wake up, and the room's all foggy, and my roommate jumps out of bed and screams, fire, fire, and <laughs> he's running around. And uh, then we realized, after the dust began to settle, that it was a fire extinguisher that was blown under our door. I thought, er, uh, uh, what do you normally charge? <laughs> what did she say? And they were all together in our apartment that night. And um, in order to stay out of the drama, uh, my friend Dan and I uh, started just taking shots of vodka by ourselves. And um, we referred to it as that night because there was so much tension in the air and we got wasted. Did you do it? I'm not going to admit to it. Oh. I, I was right next to him, though. He's not going to deny it either, though. <laughs> I'm his hallmate. I know, but uh, it was hilarious. Like, they come into my room, like, they're all pissed off. Like, there's an inch, I swear, an inch of, like, dust, like, everywhere. On the oh bed, on the sheets, so on gross. the poster, on the computer. Uh, nothing. I think she was embarrassed at that point. Oh. So, maybe you weren't supposed to hear that comment? I don't know. What's your name? I'm Kevin. Kevin is going to embarrass his friend that is right over here. What's your name? Matt. Kevin and Matt. Here you go. All right, so last year when we all started uh, hanging out, we decided to go to this frat party. That's one way to avoid the drama. Yeah. Hey, I'm sure it worked, right? Yep, it totally did. <laughs> so was there any resolution that night, or did you all just pass out? I don't remember the, really the end of it. I think the, the girl that just had gotten dumped went home and cried and... <laughs> And I got fired from my job. So, so he came to your room? Yeah, he came to my room, and he was all, like, coughing and stuff, and he's like, can I crash there? And, like, you know, so I was like, yeah, sure, it's like 4 in the morning. I didn't care. I was tired. I was sleeping. He just woke me up. Come on, tell me something else. Oh! He's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> First time someone's ever walked off camera. We went over to the frat party. We were hanging out. So, you know, all of a sudden the cops show up, bust the party, so we all had to leave. So we're all heading out the door, and he's in front of me. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he just trips and falls down the stairs. I called out of work, but I had our other friend call up and say that she was Nurse Betty and that I was in the hospital while we're laughing in the background. <laughs> Him and his roommate had to clean it up for like six hours like after uh, you know they went back to sleep. I don't know. Was... That really sucks. And just lays there like he's passed out or something. So then eventually he gets up, the cops come and question him, thinking he's drunk out of his mind or whatever. So then we eventually leave and go back. Did you get arrested? No, I actually had nothing to drink. My neighbor Mike is going to entertain you. Okay. <laughs> well, my first semester I was here, um, what happened was me and my friends, we drank moonshine that night. Which... Isn't that illegal in Virginia? Yeah. It is. Nice. <laughs> I was at a birthday party when I was younger, and um, the girl's house that we were staying at, she had a treadmill. There was a one time where I was flying back from the Philippines, and I was heading to Detroit. Okay. And I fell asleep because it was a 14-hour flight. Now, I had this nice little cup of ginger ale on me. It was, like, really big. It was nice. It was yellow. It was really sweet. I fell asleep <laughs> getting ready to drink it. But when I woke up, it spilled all over me. After you have moonshine, you're just completely trashed. So... Basically, 
we were smacked off our ass the whole time, um, that whole night. And one of the girls got on the treadmill and was running, and we kept upping, upping the speed, and she was telling us to stop, and she was laughing, but we wouldn't, and we kept making it go faster and faster. I don't know where it spilled all over my crotch. Uh-oh. So I was, I was landing in Detroit, and it was still there. It wouldn't get off because I was wearing white pants. So I walked around the airport with, like, this piss stain that looked, like, this big, and I was carrying boxes, and that's my most embarrassing moment. My uh, friend that was upstairs above me came downstairs, and I knew it was him because I could hear him, like, talking really loud in the hallway because he was still really trashed. Yeah. So he was talking louder than normal. And he walked, and we, he always kept our room unlocked. He didn't care. And she ended up peeing on herself and got really pissed at us. <laughs> pissed. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> All right, okay. I was at a, a party, I think about a month ago, and everyone was just really hammered. Of course. So <laughs> I was about to leave, and I was going to say bye to my friend Paulo. He walked in, and then he took my um, roommate's shoe and peed in it. Yeah. And he just kept peeing until he stopped, and it was a long time before he stopped. <laughs> And then, <laughs> That's the first um, story I've heard about a girl actually pissing herself tonight. Yeah. I've heard a lot of boys telling me about it because apparently they do it a lot. Girls do it too. I have another friend that when she laughs really hard, she ends up peeing on herself. <laughs> so pretty uh, embarrassing. Yeah. I look down and I see his, I don't know, I, I thought it was a shadow at the time, but <laughs> apparently it pissed his pants. <laughs> My roommate wakes up, basically jumps on him and throws him out of the room. It doesn't hit him. It doesn't hit him or beat him up or anything. Okay, so one time, I was at the Theta house. This guy told me to go get a beer for him. So I did. Wait, a guy was telling you to get a beer for him isn't supposed to be the other way around? He was DJ. I love to get people from like the first and second show back on the air. They're like my little characters. Ah, how you guys doing? <laughs> yeah. You remember Eric? His sex drive got lowered by his roommate's engagement. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it did. Adult situations. Don't worry about it though, I'm back. Like I said last time, I am back. I was talking to people the next day, and they were like, dude, did you know Apollo Pisses fans? I said, oh, he did? I thought, <laughs> it's Mason TV, bro. It's not going anywhere. But that morning, uh, he made my, that, my friend actually clean his shoe in the bathroom, and he like, cleaned it like two or three times. Ew, why would he wear that shoe after that? He wore it. So I go get his beer, I'm walking down the stairs, got my flip-flops on, and all of a sudden my feet are out from under me, my shoes fall over my head, both the beers pop, pour on top of my shirt. But, you know, the last story I think says it all, because um, everybody tells me about the story, how bad it was, like I busted him out. I didn't bust him out, he deserved it. Wait, wait, did you just say that we're not going anywhere? No, I mean... I mean, it's not going to reach, like... Okay, that's better. That's better. No, you offended going, me. It's going places, but, you know, <laughs> hopefully the story won't. <laughs> come here. No, I can't. Come here. I come can't. on. Embarrass me. Go no, ahead. No. Try. Just try. Come on. I can find you somebody, but I can't do it. Everyone around me is uh, looking for my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and my back hurt for three three weeks after. <laughs> and everyone's like, who was that girl that fell on the steps of Theta? And that was me. No, we But you gave we were, them two points. We were already... Wait, 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 wait. Let's start from the from the if I can talk, okay. Let me try this again. Let's start from the beginning, okay? Tell me the story, guys. Okay. Embarrassing. Embarrassing, funny, crazy, anything you want. Like getting caught while having sex or something? There you go. Alright, so I was at the swimmer house for the pudding party and I just peed and it came out and I slipped and I think I did a split <laughs> and my pants slid up from the knee up to the crotch area. You busted him out. Can you explain to me what that means, please? Like I told his business. It's his oh, fault. His I business see, was my I business because I was up. Okay, so now we should have some vocabulary, I think. You know, busted him out. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. You know what I'm saying? It's all right, vocabulary. <laughs> he was our coach for the AZD AO Pi Championship Basketball Intramural Game. And I had been out all game, and I was like, Coach, put me in, put me in. He was like, okay, go in for this person because they were looking kind of tired. So I go in, and there was a foul shot, and I got the rebound, and I was so excited. I was like, yes, I have it. The entire team is shouting me like, no, hold on to it, hold on to it. It's like, <laughs> I'm recording, so. No, you're not. Yeah, he is. No, it's easy. Come on, just no. tell that. Tell no, no. This, is for, this is funny. No, it's not. RJ. <laughs> <laughs> RJ doesn't need to be on TV. RJ's camera shot. So I'm at my ex-girlfriend's house, mm -hmm. and we always would go to her family room while her parents go to bed or whatever. <laughs> 
So we're sitting there butt ass naked. I hope so. Can I say that? Yes. Yeah, okay. Can say that. <laughs> so I'm sitting there. So I'm sitting there naked.